Okay, so we have this Ford Figo. It's a diesel that actually doesn't want to uh, drive. It starts up, you put it into gear, but the car doesn't move forward. So I was under here before when I jacked, once I jacked it up, it seems that the CV joint, the outer CV joint had broken. Okay, so I'm going to take the wheel off and loosen up the um, loosen up the, the lower control arm so that we can get the, the CV joint we can get the CV joint out um, but let's get the wheel out of the way it's the main thing um, when I was under there I couldn't see any, anything because the CV boot is still intact so it's a T45 torque socket over there okay um, and a size 15 uh, ring spanner on the one side, that is for the bolt that holds the ball joint down. Okay, um, that holds the ball joint in position. So we'll just go ahead and loosen that off. Alright, we'll get that bolt out of the way. Quite simply. That's what that bolt looks like. Okay, torques. Size 16 head over there. And then of course, um, we have a size 16 spanner nut up here for the tie rod end which we need to loosen now there's two ways that you can get this off what I normally do is I normally just shock it with a hammer here I've got a fork which you can knock in here as well but then you will break the boot and then it will be necessary to replace the boot so I'm just going to turn that wheel out a bit So with the wheel turned out a bit, we can just we knock it right there to shock it. Okay, but what I would suggest, put the nut on, so that when you do miss it, that you don't damage the thread. Okay. One hit is over enough, and we have that tie rod end just coming out like that. Okay, and then we'll just get the we'll just get the the lower control arm to drop out okay like that just pull it out and then push with a fiber hammer just get that cv joint to go through the through the and you can see that that cv joint you know there is definitely something wrong i can feel there's something wrong there so i'm going to take the shaft out by the gearbox and take it to the bench so with the shaft loose from the box, we can just pull the shaft out, okay, and as we can see, you know, this looks fine, okay, but this one, definitely, you know, so let's, let's go take a look on the bench, we just need to get this clamp broken off, out of the way, okay, and then we'll just peel that rubber back, and you can see that CV joint, the CV joint carrier inside has broken okay it's just the carrier is broken the carrier that actually holds all the little CV uh, all the little balls in there let's just get this boot peeled back get the boot peeled back so that we can get the shaft in there so if it doesn't come loose with knocking then we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to resort to um, a grinder and just sort of grind two two bits so that it splits so that we can get that we can get that unit off but let's give it a few knocks no success okay I'll use go ahead and use a grinder.
give it a turn and then we'll go more or less halfway around. basically how you take a, 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 a you know a seized um, uh, inner of a CV joint off a shaft that doesn't want to come loose under normal circumstances so with that out of the way we can now pull the, the boot off okay and uh, we can now also avert our attention to this to this unit back here where we will now be removing this CV joint because of the of the broken boot yeah you know all the grease is leaking out so we have a problem where we need to take this boot off so I'll go ahead and take off the boot clean everything up and then get back to you so with the clamps broken off you just simply peel the rubber back okay um, that inner part of the that outer part of the joint comes off lay that down and then of course inside we have a circlip okay over here and we basically need to get that circlip off the shaft all right that's your circlip over there okay so I'm having a bit of uh, trouble getting this unit off and I am scared that I am going to damage it. Okay, so because we are just basically replacing um, the boot, okay, and not the complete CV joint, okay, I am going to take the boot because we are doing the front, the outer CV joint as well, we can actually pull the boot off the shaft. Okay, so with us pulling the boot off the shaft, all right, we can leave that behind. I'll put the circle back, okay, and uh, know that we don't have to worry, um, you know, about damaging this this unit here, because that will probably cost the customer an inner CV joint if we persist, because it seems to be very tight on here. So I'm just going to be putting that circle back, okay. Make sure that that circle be beds and seats properly, and. Um, we will just be doing the boot and we will be pulling the boot in from the opposite side so with everything nicely cleaned up this is the trouble joint okay um, inside you're supposed to have this carrier okay that carrier okay with ball bearings in it like that and that basically goes inside this unit okay to allow the, the car to first of all the shaft to rotate and then for the steering okay so that's all broken these little pieces all broken you know as you can see all those little bits belong to that carrier okay um, then the unit that we had to grind off okay um, how that basically works is that it's got a it, it, it's got a, a groove going right around to house a circle right so that uh, circle will basically go into the groove of the drive shaft that's the drive shaft okay and then with a clip that you can see the clip has, has broken as we've taken it out okay the clip will expand and as this pushes over it's splined and as it pushes over the spline okay as it pushes over the clip will expand lock into that groove over there and that will prevent the cv joint from actually pulling off the shaft okay and that is why this has probably been on here since new this car is about a 2013 2014 model so it's six seven years old already and uh, that tends to seize uh, uh, many many a time so when we buy a new joint now we will get a new uh, circle and i will show you how everything goes together okay so we have to discard that that's broken we cannot do anything about that okay we have to buy a brand new one 
And then um, this unit over here just simply fits over this unit here, like that. Okay, and that also allows the shaft, you know, to, to, to have movement and to rotate. Okay, and then of course you have a covering coming over here, which is the boot, okay, which we've taken off. That boot over there, okay, comes over there to uh, keep the grease inside. Okay, so that the constant velocity joint is always basically uh, lubricated. Okay, so that's the movement there. And that is makes up your CV joint shaft on your Ford figure. So I'll go ahead and go and get a new outer CV joint, a new inner boot, and uh, put this whole shaft together and get this car going. Okay, so I bought a new um, CV joint, outer CV joint, and uh, the first thing that one does is, you know, before you grease the joint up, take the joint, make sure that there's no circlip in the groove, and also make sure that the splines actually spline in. Oh. Okay. You make sure that the spline actually goes in, okay, nicely, okay, because if it's the wrong sp spline come, it will not fit, okay. So once we have that established, we know it's the right pool, it's, it's the right CV joint. So in the kit, we will get the CV joint itself. Can you see everything is intact? It's got six ball bearings and it's got the carrier and then the center boss or hub, okay, with a spline. Right, and then it has an outer spline with a thread. Okay, that's the, the, the CV joint there. We get a, a, a packet with bits in it here. Okay, uh, you'll probably get, um, you know, we get, we'll also get the, the boot and instructions. So, and then inside the packet of goodies, we will get the two clamps, the inner, the inner and the outer clamp. Okay, that holds the boot onto the shaft and onto the joint itself. We'll get a, a nut, okay, that fits on the outside, that tighten, the tightening nut, okay. And then, all, of course, we'll get the clip that goes into the groove of the, of the shaft. Okay, so in this procedure now, I will go ahead, okay, and uh, basically fit the, uh, I will fit the, 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 before I go and fit the inner uh, CV joint, I want to make sure that I bought the, bought the correct boot. So we'll take out our, uh, our boot, okay? Um, in the kit, we'll get, uh, you know, two clamps, which you need a special pliers for, a special crimping tool, which I do have. Um, they'll give you some uh, graphite grease or CV joint grease, a tube of grease enough to treat one CV joint and then the boot itself. So we just need to see if that unit works. Okay, so let's assemble this lot now. Okay. Um, I'll put that shaft, put that uh, boot in, boot over so long, all right. Put that uh, shaft into the vise, like that. Push the boot back a little bit. And then of course, We'll take the grease that's been supplied, okay, and we shall grease up the joint, just pour all that grease into there, okay, use the whole, um, use the whole, the whole tube, okay, and then we'll just put that shaft over, and as we, as we force it over, It'll just, uh, you know, lubricate the inner, the inner shaft, okay, on the inside there. Okay, we'll use cable ties on this, because I find that they are a, a lot more reliable than some of the clamps, okay. Um, especially the clamps that actually came with this kit, uh, those clamps are not reliable. So just by simply putting on a, um, okay, it's got to be able to move, and then we'll flip it around like that, and put 
another cable tie to seal off that end of the boot okay nice and tight and we can go take that off and that's the action you're going to have on the boot there okay okay number one we'll slide on one of the the, 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 the inner uh, clamp that holds the boot we'll slide the boot over and then of course we will put in our circlip okay now remember I explained how the circlip works um, the circlip will basically spread once the CV joint goes over okay and that will prevent um, you know the because here is a groove inside here's a groove inside here okay and that clip will catch in the groove right so before we put the CV joint on we'll just go ahead and we'll put some of that grease we put some of that grease in we just pump it in like that okay fold the joint up completely you can see it starts oozing out what I normally do I just take my finger press it in the middle okay and it will sort of expunge the grease through the through the roller bearings there. okay then we'll quite simply put it on make sure that it splines properly and then um, just give it a tap with a uh, give it a bit of a tap with a um, with a fiber hammer if it does struggle to go in then we have to be careful because it means that the circlip is not uh, you know the circlip's not clicking in so what you sometimes need to do is you just need to take a um, you just uh, okay let's let's just get rid of all the grease and put the grease inside the boot like that you see the circlip sometimes doesn't push in so what you need to do um, just find the clip okay push the CV joint in and if the clip you find that the clip is uh, maybe not going into the groove and you sometimes just need to help the clip just push the clip into the groove so that the CV joint can actually be be knocked in so with me pushing it in a little a little more let's see now if I give it a tap tighten up and we'll try and and we'll try and knock it out it shouldn't it shouldn't be able to come out as you can see because now the clip is holding that CV joint onto the shaft okay once that's achieved we can now um, put our we can now put our, our CV joint on our CV joint boots on okay and we'll just make sure that once we've got the CV joint boot on that we take out all of, of any vacuum that's inside there eh? okay so this is basically this is a much simpler clip it's a much more reliable clip that came with the CV joints it's very simply you just sort of um, pull it tight give it a bend over okay and then just sort of knock it down and those two little clips I'll take you closer when I do the when I do the back one and then this piece here will just basically knock it and get it to break off okay there we are excess trim okay that's the outer boot in position so now we can go ahead and turn it around I'll show you I'll take the camera closer and I'll show you how to do um, the inner alright all that we do we just pull this out to tighten to tighten up okay um, we'll hold the just tighten it nice and tight give it a bend over Flip it in there, alright, and then you have these two little pieces that just clips over. Flips over like that. And then of course we trim off the excess. Alright. So there we have our complete CV shaft ready to go to be put into the uh, um, to be put into the car so we've got a new outer CV joint okay with a, a new rubber boot and, and, and clamps 
We've got a new inner uh, CV boot, okay, with clamps. All right, and a complete shaft. So let's go and fit. So before we fit, we'll just check and make sure that this uh, circlip is fine. As you can see, it works on the same principle as the as the circlip on the outer uh, CV uh, joint shaft. Okay, so all that we need now to do is we need to guide the shaft into the gearbox. Okay. Okay, just line the splines up nicely and then the shaft basically uh, slides into the gearbox and then down here we have the shaft must now be put into the hub okay guide it into the hub let the splines go in nicely push down our Lower control arm, let that ball joint basically um, go into the right, and then of course we will put our bolt in, Let's give it a, a final just so that we know that it's in properly. And remember, this is size 15s and a size uh, T45 torque socket okay and then we have our thyroid end bolt that is also uh, a size 15 okay and just knock the taper in so that it's nice and tight and then of course we have our nut <coughs> what i have noticed um, about the new nut it does so if it doesn't have a flange like that sorry it doesn't have a flange so I'm going to be using the old nut. It's a self-locking nut. It can be used again instead of this. I've got to get a big flat washer, which I do not have. Okay. So I'm just going to be using the old nut on, on the CV joint. Okay. It is exactly the same thread. So I'll just be doing that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten everything, put the wheel on, jack the car down, and go and give the car a test drive. By taking off, um, you know, the drive shaft, which we did, okay, some of the oil drained out, so we have to refill the oil. So the drain plug or the filler plug is here in the front of the engine, okay, it has this cover that covers it, okay, this cover comes over the whole unit here, like that. Okay, so you just clip this cover off, okay, there where the clutch cable is. You will see there's a grub screw with a size 7 allen key that is basically your filler okay and don't forget to fill up the gear oil because some of the gear oil has drained out when i rem when we remove the drive shaft okay so front of the vehicle okay you come in from the front on the passenger side um, and there's a cover here which you just take off quite quite easily okay it just clips off all right and then um, when you're done you'll just clip the cover back on like that quite easily and the job's all done okay so that's where you fill it behind that cover uh, completed the job now we've got everything on i just have to jack the car down tighten the wheel put the hub cap back on and go and take the car for a test drive to make sure everything is fine remember that the vehicle was towed into me because it couldn't drive with a broken one uh, uh, broken cv joint the vehicle will not drive okay thanks for joining me once again in my workshop you know um, from uh, vehicle maintenance and repairs.com carry de la cruz see you with the next one cheers